Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing The Color Purple by Alice Walker. Somebody requested me to review this book a while ago, but I got kind of busy and forgot about it. So anyways, I'm doing this now. It was a great book and I definitely want to say some kind words about it. This is going to be a non-spoiler review and a pretty quick one, so as always, you can stay if you want to, and uh, let's just get started. Well, I had a great experience with this book overall. It was a school-assigned book, um, that's why I got all these tabs in it, but I really enjoyed it. It's a historical fiction, and the main character in this book is a girl named Seely. She is an African-American woman, and in the beginning of this book, she's 14 years old, and she's uh, forced to marry this man named Mr. She has a sister named Nettie, who is originally supposed to marry Mr., but Seely takes her sister's place. So at age 14, she's already forced to marry this man she doesn't know or love, and she's already had two children um, by her stepfather, who aren't with her. Her children have been taken away. She's had this really hard life, and that's where the beginning of this book starts out, but it spans um, a huge chunk of her life. By the end of it, she's way into her years. And the format of this book is a little bit uh, different. It's written as a series of letters. These are all letters that Celie has written um, either to God or to her sister. And I don't know, whoever she's addressing kind of changes. But it's mostly to God and they're all really personal letters. And also Celie isn't well educated so the language is very um, broken. Before I get into like the characters and the plot and stuff, um, this book is not a light read. It is a very heavy book. It deals with things like domestic violence, rape, racism, sexism. There's tons of really deep messages in this book, but you definitely need to be mature about it and really take the story seriously because even though it is fiction, I'm sure Sully's life wasn't so different than like an African American woman. Um, not so long ago, honestly. It's, it's set in the South and it's just this really dark time in American history and yeah, it's it's a very intense book. I'm gonna put this down now, so yeah. There's so many different characters in this book. There's Seely, Mr. Mr. Son Harpo, Harper's wife Sophia, Sophia and Harpo's children, and they have tons of children. And then there's Seely's sister Nettie, and Nettie's whole family, and tons of other characters. Oh, and obviously Shug, too. Shug is a way important character. She's Mr.'s um, old lover but she also becomes a prevalent, like a really prevalent character in this story. And there's tons of different characters, but um, each one has a story. Each one has a personality and a lot of depth to them. Even though there's so many characters, you can still feel like you know them pretty well. And there's also so much character development with each one, which is crazy because there's so many characters. Uh, human transformation is a huge theme throughout the story, especially when we follow Seely, because in the beginning she's really immature and young, and she views herself in this really negative way, and I don't want to give away the ending or anything, but let's just say she changes so much throughout the book. There's also this really important theme in this story where Celie is discovering her self-identity and exploring her sexuality. I don't want to name the character who helps her with that, but there's a lot of that, like, exploration with her body and her sexuality and something that she didn't um, look at before because she always saw sex as something bad and abusive because of her past and her present. One of the main points is that there are lots of characters and they all develop, and especially Celie. Alice Walker definitely had an intention with this book and Celie's life. The only thing I can criticize about this book, really, because it's such a great book, is the sense of time in this story because it spans such a huge chunk of time and these letters aren't dated or anything, so you don't really know exactly how old Celie is. You know in the beginning that she's 14, but other than that, you just, it's sort of like a guessing game like she must be around this age and even when the book ends you're like okay she's older now but is she like a middle-aged woman or is she like elderly I don't think she's elderly but you know it's kind of hard to tell how old she is that was my only problem because I like to know 
things and it's not so clear but other than that there's nothing to criticize about this book honestly it was beautiful the messages in this story are so deep the characters were so deep and they all represent different things like i said earlier there are some characters that are really strong, women that sort of defy the gender roles, and then there's characters that are more passive and they go with how they're supposed to act. And I don't want to spoil anything else. I mean, I feel like I've sort of hinted at things. Um, but honestly, it's a really great book. It's not very long, and I highly recommend you read it. Um, I feel like you'll get a lot out of it. There's so many different lessons to learn and to take away. You get something out of the story, and I love books that have messages in them. I give this book a 5 out of 5 stars, I think. Probably like 4.5 or 5. That's something like that. But anyway, it was a great, great book and I like highly recommend you read it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!